we're in this wonderful project together. Right? Mm. We don't know each other that well. <laughs> so now we get to find out stuff about each other. Find it, what are you gonna tell me? Indeed. We all came together, even though we didn't work together. Mm -hmm. You know, when we did the, the, the very pivotal scene where, where I, yeah, I'm not- Spoiler alert. Spoiler, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. How would you, would you have liked to have worked together on that? Or oh, do you course. like working alone? I like both, it depends, mm -hmm. you know. If it's a nice person, I like working with them, yeah. Well, and that if scene they're not, been, it's a challenge, so yeah. that's equally good, yeah. It would have been rather creepy, though. Arden's a broken toy. I love that analogy. Yeah. Because at one time, he was, we were the same. He was a healer, you are a healer. Yeah, true. And we went in different ways. Totally different ways. I continued the healing, what did you do? I took the demons into me oh. and let them take over. Oh my gosh. But early, early on, there's something that, that parallels. We're not gonna give anything away. Do you still yeah. get excited when you see a Luna Freire cosplayer? Yes, it's awesome. I've met so many of them now. And I love when they send me photos of them and they've shown me how much work they put into their costumes. Yeah, I like it. And I like particularly when they cosplay because then they're taking on the character, they're doing the voice, they're doing all of that. I love it. Yeah, who knew when we started this journey that we would influence people, that they would spend their time and their energy making, you know, yeah. what we did and just lifting it up and making it real. Mm -hmm. It's just so inspiring. I love it is. It. It's humbling. It's wonderful. And it makes me take it even more seriously. Mm -hmm. Well, of course. You, Luna's very serious, isn't she? Yeah, but I think I didn't realize when I started recording her how much of an impact this game has on people and their lives. And I've met some really incredible people who've told me about how much it means to them. And they've been in hard times or happy times or with friends or without and they've just had a go-to game that they could play. I've really enjoyed hearing those stories and it makes me appreciate it even more than I'm part of it. Who thought when we started this four years ago that these characters would have so much impact? I mean, every yeah. time I will get some fan art, I, I retweet it and I go nuts. So tell me, when you think about playing Luna now, what comes to mind? Playing her, I booked the job so close to when I actually moved to America. And it was a big deal for me and I, I loved it and it was exciting and it just helped that whole move here to be so much more exciting. To the Final Fantasy XV family, I would like to say thank you. Thank you so much for including me in this and for keeping in touch and for expressing how much it means to you that I voiced this character. And I'm really happy to be a part of it and to everyone who made it as well, all the other people that are part of making this character because it is a universe. I'm just the voice, but it's everything else is around it. I was so lucky to be implanted into that. So I guess if I have anything to finally say to the fans about this whole journey, it's Arden's the best. Arden <laughs> wins everything. Arden, Arden, Arden. That was just me having fun because that's Arden. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Yeah. And I'm so glad that people had fun with this.